going to learn the song, Skip to My Lou. But I thought before we really start singing it, we should understand what the song's about. So it's kind of a farm song. So it's a dancing, singing song about farm life. And the first thing that we're gonna talk about is, can you see what that is? It's a fly in the buttermilk. So it goes like this. Flies in the buttermilk, shoot, fly, shoo. Flies in the buttermilk, shoot, fly, shoo. Flies in the buttermilk, shoot, fly, shoo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Do you know what buttermilk is and where it comes from? Well, come with Ms. Baker on the farm and we're gonna learn about it. So first of all, I gotta milk the cow, okay? The cow is not in the kitchen. No cows in the kitchen today. So, and then here's my milk can, and this is a real old fashioned milk can. So we fill it up with milk. And then we have to skim the cream, which is the thicker part of the milk. We have to skim it off the top and Put that in a container and that we separate the milk from the cream. The cream rises to the top. It's a lot thicker. So here's our milk that we have separated from the cream. Now the cream is really thick. This is what we can make whipping cream out of and it separates. It floats up to the top so we separate it from the milk and then here's our milk for um, drinking chocolate milk and putting on cereal. Here's our cream that we make whipped cream. Some people like to put cream in their coffee and their tea and things like that, um, or hot chocolate. And also, besides making whipping cream, this is what we make butter out of, is this cream. So this is an old fashioned butter churn and inside it has a dasher. So if I had a lot, a lot of cream, I'm on the farm and I have lots and lots of cups of cream, I would pour that in and then I would go like this for a long time and I would beat the cream and cream the cream and it would turn into butter. So if you wanna make your own butter, get a, a small container and you can get cream from the store, whipping cream. The container will look something like this. It might be a little one. I use big ones because I use cream a lot in cooking. But you have whipping cream that you get from the store. Here's my whipping cream. And I'm gonna pour some in this jar. Now I have to leave some room to shake it. So I'm going to pour some cream in a jar, put a lid on it, and then shake it. Now it might take five minutes or more to shake this, but if I keep shaking this, it will turn into butter. So here's my finished butter. So it looks like that. Now I'm going to separate the buttermilk the part that's left over and isn't real thick like the butter. And this is, this is the buttermilk. So here's the buttermilk and I poured this off of the butter and you can actually drink it. It's actually got little tiny bits of butter in it and it, it's got a little bit of a sour taste to it, but I kind of like it. And then here's the butter. So now I'm gonna put it in the butter dish. So here's homemade butter, and here's the buttermilk Flies in the buttermilk, shoo, fly, shoo. So that's what they're talking about in the song. Flies in the buttermilk. I think I need to make 
some homemade bread so I can have some fresh butter with it. But back to the song right now. Do you know what happens when cows are in the cornfield? Well, number one, they trample all the corn stalks, and then there isn't going to be corn for us to eat because they're eating it all. But you know what? When cows eat corn, they get a stomach ache. Think about if you ate a whole pizza and then you couldn't sleep at night because your stomach was so full and you felt kind of like you were a blown up balloon. Well, that's what happens to cows. That's a lot of Pepto-Bismol for a cow with a tummy ache. Cows in the cornfield, what do I do? Cows in the cornfield, what do I do? Cows in the cornfield, what do I do? Skip to my loo, my darling. I've got my broom and I'm gonna chase those cows out of my cornfield. Here's a little wagon painted blue. That's the last verse. So it goes like this. Here's a little wagon painted blue. Here's a little wagon painted blue. Here's a little wagon painted blue. Skip to my loo, my darling. Now we're going to learn the song Skip to my loo. So we're gonna start with the chorus. So the chorus is the part of the song that every time we get to, it's the same and we sing it again. So we'll sing a verse and then we'll sing the chorus. Then we'll sing the second verse and then the same chorus. The third verse and then the same chorus. So let's start with the chorus. Now, if you look right here, there's an X and a three and a repeat sign. This means that we're gonna do this part of the song three times. Why should I have to write it down three times when it's kind of the same? So it's gonna go like this. Lulu, skip to my loo. And then we do it again. Lulu, skip to my loo. The third time. Lulu, skip to my loo. And then we do this part. Skip to my loo, my darling. So sing it with me. Here we go. And it's pretty easy to remember because it's pretty much loo, loo, skip to my loo. So here we go. Loo, loo, skip to my loo. Loo, loo, skip to my loo. Now, you probably noticed that I underlined some things in red. So every time we get to that word, we're gonna clap. So, for example, Lulu, skip to my loo, and then we do it again, got it? Okay, but let's do it with music. Let's make it a little more fun. We're going to sing the chorus, and we're gonna clap on every word that's red. That's the first beat in each line. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Well, in our music, 
we're going to beat four beats in each line. So if you look, we see the red and then blue, blue, blue. And that adds up to, right, four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's what the run's all about. It's the first beat. And the first beat in each line is the strongest beat. So we're gonna have strong, and then these are kind of weak, so that's why they're blue. So we have strong, weak, 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 strong, weak, weak, weak. So, so we have strong beats with the red and the weak beats with the blue, so it adds up to four. Strong, weak, weak, weak. So let's do the weak beats on our legs. So it's gonna be kind of soft. So we're gonna have strong, weak, weak, Strong, weak, weak, weak. Let's try that with the music and then we'll put the words to it. Skip to my 
my Lou, we're going to start with flies in the buttermilk. Shoot, fly, shoe. And then the second, oh, and then we do our verse with the strong and the weak, 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 strong, weak, weak, weak. Then we have cows in the cornfield, what do I do? And then back to the chorus, strong, weak, 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 strong, weak, weak, weak. And then we end with, here's a little wagon painted blue. And then we go back to the chorus, strong, weak, 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 strong, weak, weak, weak. Let's do it. Oh, and by the way, Ms. Baker made the accompaniment. I played the piano, and then I played the ukulele, and then I played the flute, so we would have some really fun music to sing to. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 